Hello friends, welcome to the ASP.NET MVC code snippet and in this video we are going to see the code snippet for file size custom validator. Again we are going to develop both server side validator as well as client side validator. So many times there is a requirement in real application to check the size of your uploaded file. So if it is beyond the limit then you want to show the validation feedback to the user. So let us see this part practically. So here I am using the same application that we studied for uploading the file as well as we studied it to create a custom validation for file extension. So here I already added one class that is my file size. Okay, this is going to be my validation attribute and according to the custom validation, what we have to do? We have to inherit this class from validation attribute. Okay, and for that we need this system dot component model dot data annotation namespace. Now here, as I told you, we are going to implement client side validation also. So for that you have to implement i client validatable interface, and for that we need system dot web dot mvc namespace. So don't forget to include it in your project. So i client validatable. So first of all, what we will do, we will override the is valid method of our validation attribute class or validation attribute base class in my file size attribute. So override is valid. So you will choose this method having single argument. Okay. Now here again. We have to return true false value. If my data is valid, I will return true. If my data is invalid, I will return false. Okay. So value is nothing but a property value. So we are going to apply this my file size attribute on this image property. Okay. So what is the property type of this property? It is HTTP posted file base. Okay. Now many times there is a situation that anybody do not uploaded the file till now anybody do not uploaded the file so in that case what we can do we can check the value against null so if value is equal to equal to null in that case we want to return a true okay means nothing is uploaded then it is okay it is valid so that's why we are uploading the true but if there is any file uploaded okay then i have to check its size and then i have to compare it again the specified size okay so here my value should get type casted to http posted file base because as I, as i told you we are going to apply this attribute validation attribute on our image property in our model which is of type http posted file base so always it will gives you value of this http posted file base type so let me typecast it. So here I say HTTP posted file base say file is equal to value as HTTP posted file base. Okay. So we converted it. Now what is the next step? We have to get the length of a uploaded file or size of uploaded file. So in that case you can use content length property of this file uh, object or of this HTTP posted file base class. Now as you can see here it will give you the size of a uploaded file in bytes. Okay. So suppose your limit is to upload a file up to 2 MB. So in that case what we have to do? We have to multiply we have to convert it into the bytes. Okay. Then only we can check this. Again Suppose you want to give this facility to user that how many bytes you want to allow. You just specify it here like this. Oh, sorry, I'm switching to over my model and here I'm going to apply that my file size validation attribute. For that I already included this namespace here because I defined this in custom validation folder. So remember this thing. Okay. So here along with the error message I want to specify that what is going to be my maximum limit. So for that I have to create a provision of a property. 
because as you can see here how we specify error message we say error message is equal to something similarly in my max file size attribute i have to create a provision for maximum file size property so that user can define that value so let us create one property for that so prop int say max size and here we will allow a user to specify this maximum size in mb to specify this maximum size in what mb so here what user have to specify now once you open the round bracket so you will say max size is equal to say i want to allow user to enter 2 mb up to 2 mb okay then error message is equal to file is too big to upload okay you can specify any error message of your choice so i hope you understand this okay now whatever file size is there it will be collected through this content length property and required file size is in max size and as i told you we are going to define it in mb it is in mb so what will i do i compare this value first of all what will i do i will come sorry i will uh, convert this max size into bytes first so for that what i have to do i have to say max size into 10040 sorry 10 lakh 48576 one mb is what this much bytes one mb means what this much bytes so now i'll check the content length of a file with this so if it is below than this okay if it is below than this then my file size is what okay but if it is greater than this then my file size is bigger i'll not allow the user to upload it so here i'll just use return statement and since we use a comparison operator so what happen if you are using comparison operator or relational operator output is what output is also always true and false so if your content length file content length is smaller than this then it will return true if file content length is big, bigger than this multiplication then it will return false and the same thing we want to return okay so we done with this server side validation now let us implement a method for client side validation so let us implement this interface so let me hide this so i already explained this part and if you are not aware of this please watch the video of custom validation so here first of all i have to create object of model client validation rule okay let me create object rule is equal to new model client validation rule now to this rule i have to attach error message so error message is what whatever error message i specified over here in my model i specified this error message so same error message i want to display on client side also so here i have to just say base dot error message okay now the next thing is validation type so validation type is nothing but which data dash attribute that you want to display or that you want to apply on client side or that you want to apply to your html tag so it can be anything so here i am specifying file size but it should be in a small case remember this thing okay and i already explain all this thing in a custom validation in asp.net mvc file series so if you are not aware of that part please watch that video and then after watch this so then only you can understand now now here you have to specify one more thing because what we are doing here we are passing some argument to file size okay means whatever value i have specified here as a max size that is 2 i should pass it to client side also and for that what we have to do we have to specify one more property that is validation parameters and this validation parameters has a method there you have to specify the parameter name and the value so my parameter name say max size okay 
and value is coming from this max size property so don't get confused okay so here max size will have a value whereas this max size is just a parameter name okay now what is the return type return type is i enumerable collection of model client validation rules so here what i am going to do i am going to create one array of model client validation rule so let me create it and at the same time i will add this root rule to here that we created so that's it so we done with this part now remember this thing that this method actually do not validate file size on client side what it does it just apply these attributes so let us see this part practically okay now we are still to implement client side validation but we will implement it later let me show you some interesting things first so let us execute it so your view get rendered now let me say view page source so as you can see here see we added this file size attribute so it appear here data dash file that dash file size and it assigns the error message that we specified on our property and then we create then it created one parameter for it and it assigns the value also exactly the same value that we assigned there so it automatically fetches that value okay and then after it is assigned to your html tags in the form of attributes okay so that is the purpose of our i client validatable interface okay now we have to write a script that will check on the client side whether my file size exceeds or not okay because we already wrote this script on server side so same kind of code we have to write it on a client side also so let us write that code so here we have to write uh, two methods okay so let us write it so dollar dot validator dot okay first of all uh, let me add a script tag okay then dollar dot validator dot unobtrusive dot adapters dot add single val okay now actually there are three functions add bool if you are not passing any argument then add bool will be used but if you are passing any argument in that case add single val method is used okay now to this method you have to specify your rule name that is file size okay and the parameter name that we created there that is max size i hope you understand this okay this is the file size rule that we created and this is max size parameter of this file size so exactly same things you have to define here so that's it now the next thing is to create a method that will actually check the uh, file size is greater than specified size or not so let us write that code so here you will say dollar dot validator dot add method okay now to this method you have to specify the rule that you created that is file size and then you have to pass one anonymous function and that function will take a three argument first one is value then second one is element and third one is parameters okay actually this name can be default okay you can specify the different name also so basically your first argument is nothing but a value in your html tag whereas the element is nothing but a html tag itself and params is nothing but a parameter so basically we specified a max size parameter okay and this params will give me the value of this so what value we have specified we specified the value 2 okay even it appear in our to uh, our html tag also okay so whatever value 
of the parameter you specified it will appear in the params value so basically uh, we are applying it to the file tag or input type file so value is not of our use so what we will do with the help of jquery we will first of all select that element and then after we will select the files in it okay so let us write a code for that so where file so here just i am creating one local variable now i am going to select my element using jquery now your file uh, tag actually has one property and which is nothing but a files property it will gives me the details of uploaded files okay again we want to get a files at zero position basically see you can upload more than one files currently we have only single file in our form so definitely it will be at zero position and you can take its size or content length using size property in jquery so let me declare one variable again here so s is equal to file size okay now here what will i say again same code return s is less than or equal to 10,48,576 into params so what is this params params is the value of this max size property or max size parameter which is 2 okay so if it is smaller if file size is in s if it is smaller then what we will say your value is true so we are returning true if it is greater then it will return false so validation message get displayed so let us check this part so i am just going to refresh my page So let us select a file actually as you can see here this file is of size 4 MB so let me select it actually it is not working so let us see what is the problem in our code here the spelling of unobtrusive is wrong okay so what will I do I'll just copy this one okay now let us switch to browser again let me refresh the page let me select this image again okay now it is showing that file is too big to upload the same error message that we given with the help of data annotation now let us select the smaller size file so as you can see here it is only 229 kb you look at here now it is not showing this message so it is working perfectly so I hope you understand this and you enjoy this video. So keep watching. Thank you.